Hi everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. About one year ago, we bought an empty Sprinter panel van. We named her Sophia, for no particular reason, and spent last summer converting her into a camper van that we would call home. After a winter spent in Spain and Portugal, exploring endless coastlines and isolated towns, we are now back in the UK, wading through week seven of lockdown. As it turns out, building your own home is a job that's never finished. Join us this week as we make some pretty big changes to Sophia, getting her ready for a big adventure we've planned once we can all get back on the road again. Subscribe and join us for the ride. Do you know what today was meant to be? So while I was busy editing last week's video over the weekend, Ben finished the cupboards and they look awesome. I love them. Do you want to explain why there's a bit of okay, a gap so on these? As you see, there are gaps between these because this opening here is 30. 30 what? Centimeters, it's 300 mil. Whereas this one is 310 mil. And these boards are, say, what, nine or nine to one each. So, we realise that we're going to have a bit of a gap in these. Which actually, to be fair, it doesn't look too bad, does it? No. I don't know if you saw in the videos last week, we've got this massive oh, tube, which is for the next big project on the van. We're looking, or we, ha we are going to, uh, replace hopefully the roof rack we bought. So when we did the van build originally, we bought a Rhino roof rack, which is designed for like for tradies to put plasterboard, wood boards, all that sort of stuff on. Um, and it's a thick steel roof rack and it weighs, I think it was 65 kilos, 60 kilos. And we quickly realized whilst traveling around, apart from the solar panels, nothing else has gone on there because we didn't bring our surfboards with us. So, we are swapping it out from steel to aluminium. And we have these aluminium bars, which need cutting down. What we intend to do is just take the uh, roof rack bars off themselves. We're gonna leave the feet in because um, when we did they're the nicely back, bolted. Yeah, they're bolted inside the van. And that if we were gonna take those off, that means I'd have to blooming strip out sides of the roof and get in and unbolt everything, which is no point because everything is sealed in there. So we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna use the feet we've got because they have um, like a U-bracket which sits on the bolt, which sits on the metal and then you tie it up and it squeezes and holds it in place. This aluminium is, the aluminium is the same dimensions as what's on the roof already. So theoretically, it should fit. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get to do that this week. Um, I might paint it as well and get some stoppers and things. Um, yeah, so that is, this is the next big, big task. Before we get a start on the van, it's what, just gone lunchtime? We're going to try and make some bread. If you follow us on Instagram, you might have seen a couple of weeks ago, I posted a story of us trying to make bread and it went horribly wrong. It was like a rock, wasn't it? It was, A breeze yeah, block of bread. So we're gonna try and give it a go today. In fact, maybe you should try it, making it. Okay. And I'll supervise. Put it on. Add half of the water and then use your fingers to turn the mixture around. There we go. In all fairness, the first time we tried to make bread a few weeks ago, we didn't have any yeast, so we tried this like yeastless bread recipe and we probably just followed it wrong and it just went awful. But now we've managed to get hold of some yeast, so fingers crossed this should be a lot better. And you, Ben's got no excuse because his dad used to... Be a baker. Be a baker. But voila, after a first round of kneading, and uh, now we have to prove it. Yes, we do. Excellent. Wow, look at that. Sat in there, so now. Cover it again. Cover it again, let it. This is the double. second proof, is it? And then, yeah, let it double in size. Uh, double in size, and then ready to bake? Yep. Voila. Okay, so we've just come to make a cup of tea and we've run out of tea bags so I've called on our reserves in the van which are these Lord Nelson English breakfast tea. Anybody who's been in Spain and Portugal, do you feel the pain of having to use these Lord Nelson tea bags? They were literally the only English breakfast tea bags we could find uh, when we are in Portugal and um, they're so weak. You have to leave them to brew for like five minutes and they're still only just about strong enough. 
Um, but yeah, it's a little flashback to Portugal now. So the first thing we're going to do is just take off this front section because it's the only section where I can get to a foot without having to take the solar panels off. So I'm going to take this piece, this small section off and then I'm going to put the aluminium in the brackets just to make sure it fits. We have been um and ring and toying with this idea of getting rid of the roof rack for quite a while now and it was obviously quite a big expense and we don't really want to just kind of throw that money away but we aren't really using it at the minute and on our next kind of big trip when we can actually travel again we would like to take our surfboards with us and we'd also maybe like to get some stand-up paddle boards all of which do weigh quite a lot and the rhino roof rack we've got is quite heavy and we are just really conscious of the weight so fingers crossed that aluminium kind of makes your free fret works and um, yeah we're just going to go for it so we need to keep these brackets because that's what's going to sit on top of the aluminium and uh, the feet and clamp it together what we're going to do once we know that it works and fits everything we'll um, get some galvanized metal paint black paint and then just paint them black so it matches them with the rest of the uh, with the roof right feet. So that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, all we need to do now is make sure that these feet clamp it in. Yeah. <laughs> that is not coming out at all. Yeah, has it worked? It's worked. So that means we'll take our roof rack without having the solar panels on from 64 kilos, I think it was, 60 kilos, to 10 kilos. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> so have a look. I'm oh, having so excited about making bread. Oh, yes. Good. Get it, um, has it got a hollow bottom? Ah, oh, there we go, we'll just let it sit happy? and rest. Oh, I'm really happy with that. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. Thank you, babes. That's like it's like it's like a shop one. <laughs> happy with that? Mm-hmm. Cool, right. Let's go shopping. Mmm. Good morning guys. Do you know what today was meant to be? I do, because it popped up on my calendar earlier. Today, we were supposed to be heading to the Eurotunnel to head to Scandinavia, unfortunately. Time flies though, I can't believe that would have been the six weeks six back week, home. Yeah, that would have been six weeks back home and then we would have been off again. Yeah. But, obviously, we're stuck in the UK for a bit longer. Um, we're going to take Bernard out for a walk today, somewhere yes. near my nan, so somewhere a little bit different. Yeah, I think he needs a, a good run, so there's a nice... Uh, Park, nice park, yeah. So we're gonna drive to, take out for a nice run. It's a nice bit of change of scenery for us as well as the dog. Um, and then we'll probably carry on with taking the. Oh, sorry. And then we'll carry on uh, taking the roof rack off because we've got nothing else to do. <laughs> I'm not heading to a tunnel today to go anywhere. So no. yeah. All right. Yeah. That doesn't look. You found a bigger one? Loving it. I think this is the hottest day so far, isn't it? And well, I'm back in shorts, flip flops, shirt's a bit thick, <laughs> t shirt, but no, it's gorgeous. Oh no. Bernard! Oh my Out. god. He's found the bog. The oh. one and only bog. Right, as we get back in. Muddy feet. Yes. You thirsty? You thirsty dog. Is that good? It's dribbling everywhere. What? 
Oh, no. He's done. I've cut down all uh, the three aluminium bars we had. Got two more on order because I miscalculated how many we needed. Um, so for, for the moment, we'll get these ones prepped. We're not going to leave them silver. Um, we're going to paint them with uh, hammerite, all metal, uh, all metal paint, black, to match the feet. Uh, yeah, so it blends in a little bit. So they're all cut down to 1.6 meters now. Gonna quickly rub them down just to give a little bit of a, an abrasion to it so the paint um, gets a bit of stick. And then we can start taking off the rest of the roof rack and the solar panels. So now that Ben, we've painted some of these aluminium bars, the next step is to take the solar panels off, which Ben is up on the roof doing now. I used uh, self-tapping screws last time, whereas this time I'm going to use bolts because I think that'll be a lot easier because one of the screws is completely rusted away. So, that wasn't very good, was it? So, the camera died right at the end, but we have no more Rhino roof rack on the roof. Gone, no big, massive roof rack. a great rack. job of getting the solar panels off. That was a nightmare. I forgot how much of a ball ache it was getting it on. Let alone get it off. So. It's quite a lot of weight uh, to shift that, off the van. That, yeah, that is a, yeah, a lot. That's at least half the amount of clothes Cheska has. Oh, I have one cupboard of clothes. <laughs> he loves the hose. These are the bars that we've got for the new makeshift roof rack. We put two coats of this like heavy duty hammerite paint on, left it to dry overnight, which means they're ready to go on the roof. Tell me what you think about what she did. So all we do now is reattach the solar panels but move them slightly further back than what they were. So, as you see here, we're gonna sit here on these Z brackets, which are gonna go underneath. Now I'm gonna mark each here, the center of where the bar is. I'm gonna take them back down and then we're gonna drill the holes and reattach the Z brackets. This is literally the worst drill I've ever had. I bought it for like 30 quid off eBay because the one I normally have, I've got my impact screw uh, driver with me, but I didn't bring my actual proper drill and I wish I had this. It's literally like a child's toy. <laughs> Calling it quits for today. Oh, yeah, I'm aching. I'm tired. I think it'll be alright. It just looks really different. Yeah. Because obviously on the roof rack we had originally it had sides, so it didn't look like the solar panels were just stuck on. But they're the same height as they were. Just it looks more encompassing when it had, uh, or more sorry, more enclosed when we had the uh, sides on the other uh, roof bars. But I think that's good. So after a long and tiring day on the van, we've come out for a little walk, walk the dog, stretch our legs, and I've also got my basket with me because it's a great time of the year to pick up some free food. And who doesn't love free food? One thing you'll probably see a lot of in hedgerows at the minute is garlic mustard. And it kind of works the same way as wild garlic, where you can put it in pestos, put it in salads. It's quite easy to identify. It has little white flowers at the top and then these like kind of broad kidney-shaped leaves. 
The trick is to find ones that have been in the shade because when they get exposed to sunlight, they can go quite bitter, the leaves. So if they're in the shade, they're the nice, sweet ones to have. Be careful not to confuse it with this one, which is cow parsley. It's very different in the fact that its leaves are very like, they're not big and broad. They're more like carrot leaves. This plant is, <laughs> come on. This plant technically is safe to eat, but it is very, very similar to hemlock, which is very, very deadly. And so unless you're really confident in the two of them, you don't really want to get those mixed up. So this is a good patch because they're really quite high as well. So you haven't got to worry too much about dogs having weed on them. He doesn't like it, too. Let's try and do this 100 for the vlog. Oh, shit. What are we watching on YouTube? Do you want to show everyone the bread? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.